Okay, so inhale up and exhale down. Squatting, sit down low, push through your heels. And straighten those legs, peel all the way up. One more time, inhale up and exhale down. Straight legs, sit down into your squat and let's do a few of those dynamic movements here. Down and up, down and up. One more like this. Good, round your back all the way up. Roll those shoulders back. A lot of little upper body punches and work today, so we're gonna make sure our upper body's nice and warmed up. Just start swinging your arms across the body. Swinging across. And then alternating here. Feel your shoulders loosening up. And let's go double pulses open, diagonals, and keep changing. So really feel that chest opening, give the shoulder blades a little squeeze. And now arms here, and let's just kind of wave the palms back and forth. Nice little twist here. And pulses with the palms forward, small pulses, and palms back. And now reach to one side, hold it there. Get a nice stretch all the way down and just pulse gently or just hold whatever feels comfortable for your body and change. Pulse. Good, couple more. All right, everybody. Let's take it down. We're gonna inch down. Once you're there, take it to the hands and knees and start with some back rolls, rounding and arching. Push away, round the shoulder blades, drop the belly, arch the back. One more like that, and arch. Uh, spine neutral, let's extend that left leg back, right arm forward, lift and tap. Lift and tap. Really focusing on not wiggling throughout your core. Nice, smooth motion. Don't straighten the back. Squeeze your glute, reach your shoulder, and let's change to the other side. Right leg, left arm, lift and reach, and tap. You've got a few more here. Just elongate through your spine. Two more. And one more. Good, let's go into a high plank if you're able to. Crossing opposite elbow to knee, or you can take it onto your back and bring opposite elbow to knee here. Otherwise, keep your shoulders right over your wrists, feet wide, nice and slow, just warming up here. Exhale every time you bring that knee in and give those abs a little squeeze. You've got about five, 10 more seconds here. Try not to shift that upper body. And from here, everybody shift back into down dog and then back to plank. And down dog, stick with some crunches if you're modifying on the back, and plank. One more here, and pedal out the feet. We got a little bit of cardio today, just a little, as far as jumping and whatnot. And then both heels down, walk the hands back, and let's do a set of jack kicks. Opposite hand to toe, a lot of kicks today. So kind of get used to that motion if you're modifying. Tap, kick, tap, kick. You've got 30 seconds here. This will be your last warm up. And sorry for the recorded version. I started a little late. So uh, if you are watching the recorded version, please grab two dumbbells, very light or light cans, anything like that, that you can use for a little kickboxing workout today. Let's go 15 more seconds, everybody. Try to engage the core as you tap. Get that heart rate up. 10 more seconds. Beautiful. Last five here, two more jacks, two more kicks, and rest, everybody. So make sure you have your light weights close by. And again, you can just use your fists for all of these. We have some punches, some kicks today. You can use your fists instead. So we have three circuits, two rounds of each only, and we're doing 30 seconds per move. So we're gonna start with our right leg back. You're holding both weights, and you're gonna follow through with that right arm punching across the body. 
So again, you can just use your fist if you don't have weights or you have shoulder injuries and just get that pace up and go nice and quick for that cardio. All right, guys, so right leg back. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side. Right leg staggered stance, follow through, let's go. Punch, punch, engage your core for this entire workout. Exhale, punch. I already feel my abs working. So make sure you rotate that back leg, follow through. This is a full body move here. Yes, you've got 10 seconds. Make sure palm is down. Quick punch out, bring it back in. Five seconds here, everybody. We're gonna switch straight into that next one. Let's go, left leg back. Punch across, left arm. And punch, punch. Core tight. Keep your pace high, especially if you're using body weight only. Excellent, Crystal, there we go. Nice, Tana, love it. Use the whole body. 10 seconds, everyone. Nice, Grimantis, there we go, much better. Three seconds. All right, guys, squat. Right arm, left leg only. You have 30 seconds each side. Right arm, left leg. If you can't do the squats, you'll just do the punch kicks. And again, pay attention to your abs. <sighs> Inhale, squat. Exhale, punch, kick. You should feel your heart rate coming up already. Nice, Delia, good. Awesome, Joni. Stick with one side, one side. And let's go, change. Left arm, right leg. If you're alternating for this set, just keep alternating. It's okay to do one minute of these. You've got 15 seconds here. Focus on keeping that pace up. Make sure your arm is controlled so if your weight ever gets too heavy, just use your arm. Good. All right, everybody, hold your weights here. Right leg only, side lunge, side kick. Side lunge, side kick, or squat, side kick, or squat, straight leg kick. But try to get that power kick, let's go. Inhale, exhale, kick. We have 30 seconds each side, and then we go to our last round. You've got this. Three, two, one. Let's go. Left leg, side lunge, side kick. Side lunge, side kick, or side squat, side kick. If that doesn't feel good, just stick with those straight leg raises. 15 seconds, everybody. Heart should be pumping. Nice, Gail. Good, Kim. 10 seconds. Awesome, Dad, love it. Great job, everybody. Five seconds. We got round two coming up. Let's go, right leg back. Right arm punches. This round, you should be a little more warmed up. Follow through, rotate through that core. Rotate through that back foot. Let's go, 20 seconds left. Good, yes. 10 more seconds here. Looks good, Jason. Stay with me, everybody. You're doing amazing. Lisa, Kim, and Vaughn, I hope you're rocking it. Let's go. Left, left. Really follow through, everybody. Nicely done. We've got 15 seconds to go. Don't slow down now. If you need to drop your weight, that's okay. 10 seconds, and then remember, we're sticking with one arm and leg for opposite arm leg punch kicks for the next one. We'll change after 30 seconds. Hold your weight to your squat. Right arm, left leg only. Burn out that one side for 30 seconds. Inhale. Even if you're skipping that squat, stick with one side only. Good. Yes, Joni, much better. There we go. Good job, everybody. Eight seconds. You're doing great. Couple more here. And change sides. Let's go. Left arm, right leg. Add that squat in if you can. Going low. Awesome pace, everybody. We are awake today. 
15 seconds to go. You can do it. Push through, push through. 10 more seconds. We have our side lunge with our power side kick coming up in five. We're going to stick with the right leg only. Three, two, one. Hold your weight to your right leg. Power kick. So your torso is bending at the hips. Side squat is great, or even a straight leg kick. Or just stick with the kicks if you can't do your squats or your side lunges. Lots of options. Good, you have 10 seconds left. We're gonna hit the other side and then I'll give you guys a little water break. High intensity circuit, heart rate should be up, we should be thirsty. Let's go, left and side kick, left. Side kick. Keep it going, keep it going. You're almost there. 18 seconds, everybody. Finish up strong, you got this. 10 more seconds. Almost done, earn that rest. Five. Keep going, keep going. And rest, everybody, okay. Grab some water if you need it. Circuit number two, we're gonna be kind of up and down every other move on your back and on your feet. So first one we start with is a plie. You're gonna hold your weights here. Plie, uppercut, uppercut. So again, notice my feet are swiveling. So we follow through and we don't tweak the knee. Your arm is staying bent the whole time. Then we're gonna go down for chest, uh, chest fly jackknife. So legs are here, pull yourself up. Arms are wide. So we're gonna incorporate a little bit of core uh, on the floor in circuit number two. So let's start with those plies. And if you can't plie, just do squat, uppercut, uppercut. Let's go. Plie, cut, and cut. Follow through, swivel those toes. <sighs> Exhale, both uppercuts. And again, shoulder injuries, just use your arms. So make sure it stays bent. We're not extending at the top. Good, Scarmantis, just like that. Yes, eight seconds, everybody. Almost to that ab work. Let's head down, let's go. Chest fly, jackknife, or bring the leg all the way up and you just do a small crunch. <sighs> Exhale up, try to keep your pace up. And if your weights are too heavy, just use the arms for those chest flies. Beautiful, Kim, good. 10 seconds, beautiful, Tana. Good job, everybody, nice form today. Three seconds, you guys back on your feet, toes forward, squat hook, squat hook. So again, your arm stays bent and you're swiveling and hooking and hook, core tight. So it should be this motion. 15 seconds and we're down for more abs. Great job. Five seconds. One more, one more. Guys, back down, let's go. Sit up, opposite toe touch. Press the weight to the foot. Or kick the leg up and crunch punch. So do what you can, otherwise pull yourself all the way up. 14 seconds. You can do this. Keep it going. We've got one more move on our feet, one more move on our back, and then we'll go to round two. All right, you guys, back up. One more set of squats. Punch across. Punch across. Rotate all the way to the side. Keep breathing. So again, the whole body needs to rotate so that your hips are not pointing forward. Your toes should not be pointing forward on that back leg. You've got 10 seconds. Good, so make sure this time arm is fully extending to the side, not the hook. Fully extend. Three seconds. All right, you guys go down. Start here. Press, crunch, and release. Press, crunch, and release. If that's too hard, just stick with your crunches for the last 30 seconds. Lower down those arms each time. You've got five seconds until round two. 
All right, everybody, let's go. Second set, plie, uppercut, uppercut. So the palm is almost facing you at the top. Toes are out, targeting those inner thighs. Sit down low, uppercut, uppercut. You guys are doing great. Almost through circuit number two. You've got this. 10 more seconds. Going down for chest, uh, chest fly jackknives in five, three, two, and one. Let's go. Chest fly jackknives. We are moving a lot today. Just the up and down off the floor should be getting you sweaty. We have 20 seconds. Yes, Becky, good. Nice job, everybody. Great work, Joni. Keep it up, everyone. 10 seconds. We got squat hooks coming up next. Five seconds. And let's go. Squat, hook, squat, hook. Notice I'm still rotating that back foot. Always follow through. And hook. Abs are getting a great workout today. 15 seconds. Yes, and make sure you're really hooking that elbow, keeping it bent. Five seconds. We got sit-up punches coming up. Let's go, everybody. Punch to that opposite foot. Similar to the jackknife, but you have your legs wide and you just press across the body. Good. Love that modification, Kim. Looks great. Awesome, everybody. 10 seconds. We've got our last two moves in circuit two. In three, two, one. You guys, let's go. Squat. Press all the way across. Follow with the eyes. Press that arm. Keep it fluid. So you're going straight from the squat to the press, straight back into your squat. Keep the motion flowing. 10 seconds until your last move. We have the chest press crunch and lowering down each time. Five seconds. Let's go guys, last one here. Press those weights up, crunch, bring them down. If they're too heavy, switch to one dumbbell. And release. Make sure you control your body on the way down. You have 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. And rest, everybody. Another little water break before circuit three. So circuit three, we're gonna go back to our split stance. So right leg is back. You're gonna jab with your left, cross with your right, jab with your left. So jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab. You're gonna stay on that same one for the second move. You lunge and knee up. Lunge and knee up. So if you can't do the lunge, you're gonna squat knee up or squat twist. Then we'll change to the left leg stance back and you're gonna jab with your right, cross with your left, jab with your right. Then we'll do our lunge knee up. So this time we're alternating. So we'll be good uh, with a little cardio at the end. And this is our last circuit. I can tell we will have time for finishers. So right leg back. Let's go left, right, left. Left, right, left. So quick jab, punch across, quick jab again. Jab, cross, jab. Again, rotating as you punch with that right arm. 15 seconds. Keep it going. Use that breath. You've got eight seconds left. Remember, we're not changing arms. We're gonna stay with this leg behind. Hold your weights here, guys. Same leg back. Let's go lunge knee up or squat knee twist. Just on that right knee if you need to. Otherwise, lunge knee. Lunge knee. 15 seconds. Getting that full body burn. 10 left. Give me a few more lunges or squats. Three, two, one, left leg back, you guys, let's go. Right jab, left cross, right jab. Jab, cross, jab. Jab, cross, jab. Again, swiveling with that cross. 
to be fast paced. You have eight seconds. Keep the body working hard. Hold your weight to the shoulder, left lunge, knee up. Lunge, knee, or squat knee. 20 seconds here. Inhale, lunge, exhale, drive that knee up. Ten seconds. At the next bell, you're going to carefully set your weights down. We've got two cardio moves in a row. All right, everybody, let's go. Quick side to side hops. Let's go, let's go. Or side kicks, side hold. Do what you can. Otherwise, side to side. Keep those legs moving quickly. Core tight. 15 seconds. Keep it going. 10 seconds. We have one more cardio move. We're going to hit one more round and I'll give you guys a break. Five here. Almost there. And you guys, let's finish with quick feet in and out. Wide to narrow. Or fast march if you can't do quick feet. 20 seconds. Halfway, everybody. We've got one more round coming up. You're going to grab your weights in 10 seconds. Stay low, stay fast. Good. Quick taps of the toes. Three, two, one. You guys, right leg back. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Jab, cross, jab. Right leg is back. We'll hit our lunges next, and then we'll change sides. Put some force into it, unless your weights are heavy. Good. Keep those weights up, guys. Five seconds. Going to our lunges next. Hold those weights. Let's go. Lunge. Knee, lunge, knee, or squat knee. Last time for everything. Beautiful. Keep it going. You can do this. Awesome job, everybody. 10 seconds. Stay strong. Make those legs burn. Left leg's going back next. Let's go, right, left, right, right, left, right. Just quick jabs and punches. Last set of punches for today. We'll hit our lunges, we'll hit our cardio. Then we've got a few extra minutes. We'll hit some abs and glutes just to cool down a bit, get that heart rate down. 10 seconds. And let's go guys, lunge, knee, lunge and knee, or squat knee. Keep that pace up. Fifteen seconds. You're almost there. Ten left. Keep going everybody. You've got this. Five seconds. Set your weights down, let's go. Quick side to side, single leg hops. Quick, 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 feel your obliques working. Or side taps here. Do what you can. 15 seconds, we'll hit our quick feet, then we'll take it down to the floor. Let's go, 10 seconds, almost there. You got this, stay strong. Five, almost done. Let's go, everybody. Quick feet. Go lower and faster this set. Try not to overthink it. Just move, move as quickly as you can. 20 seconds. Awesome. Looks good, everybody. 10 more seconds. I'll give you a short break after this. Five. Three. Two, one, and rest, everybody. Okay. So let's do some finishers. Keep one dumbbell close by if it's light. So we're going to start with donkey kicks. And if you want a little extra resistance on your glute, 
You're just gonna wedge your light dumbbell, only do it if it's light, in between your knee, and you're just gonna hold it there and do your uh, knee ups just to add a little resistance. If not, just do regular donkey kicks. So let's head down, five seconds. And wedge that uh, weight in. Let's go, knee ups. And holding that dumbbell steady. So control that motion. You don't need to rush. Squeeze the glute at the top. 20 seconds here. And deep breath still, heart rate should still be high, especially since we're facing down. You've got 10 seconds. Almost there. And switch it to the other leg, everybody. Quick switch here. Left leg. We have 15 more seconds. Ten left. Not quite done yet. <laughs> All right, everyone, on the back, legs extended, take your weights, half sit up, double punch, roll down. You don't need to go fast. This is our cool down. And again, if you just want to use your arms, that's fine. If you need to have knees bent, do the punches here, that's fine too, with your crutch. Peel down. You've got five seconds. All right, one foot back over, this time on the elbows. Full extension, so no dumbbell. Pick a leg, full extensions. Squeezing at the top, don't rush, don't swing the leg. Fully straightening it at the top. 15 seconds here. And hold that leg up, squeeze your glute, reach. And change, other side, full range of motion. 30 seconds here. <laughs> 15 to go. Almost there, everybody, five seconds. Hold it, hold it. Squeeze, and let's go on the back again. This time, knees bent, full sit up, punch across, roll down. Full sit up, all the way up. So if you need to, you can extend your legs or go back to those crunch punches. Otherwise, all the way up, almost touching your knees with your chest. Just 10 more seconds here. Five seconds. All right, everybody, let's go on the hands. Extend one leg out to the side, up and over, keeping the leg straight, keeping your back neutral. So try to envision your toes making a nice, perfect arch. Up and over the other leg, keeping it straight. Just really squeeze your abs for this one. Eight seconds here. And switch, let's go up and over, other leg. Feel your glutes lifting that leg up, not your low back. Fifteen to go. Ten seconds, we've got one more ab move. And then you guys are done. Five seconds. All right, everybody, let's go. Bring one knee in, press to that opposite foot. And press, press. If you need to, just reach with the arms instead. You've got 15 seconds to go. Ten seconds, and you guys, we're gonna finish with an elbow plank hold today. If you can't do an elbow plank, you can do a V-sit, a crunch hold, or a hip raise hold. Let's go. We are here. Squeeze everything together, or you're here, or on the back for a uh, hip raise hold. Squeeze your legs, your glutes, your thighs, 
everything. 15 seconds, hold it. Almost there, 10 everybody. Don't give up. Squeeze a little tighter. Abs had a great workout today. Three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Sink it back into child's pose. Knees wide, toes together. Reach out your arms. Shoulders got a good workout, so really extend the arms. Press the shoulders down and spread your fingertips. And relax the forehead. Walk the arms to the right side, really extending them still, press them down. And the left side. And let's come up to the hands and knees and bring the left leg through, pushing forward into that hip, making sure the knee stays in line with your ankle. You can lay that back foot flat. And then gently press that knee open if you can. And the foot is gonna kind of go on its side. If not, just drop your hands to get a deeper stretch. So just externally rotating. And then put the foot flat. If you can, lift your back knee, otherwise leave it down. And let's open up here. Towards the knee, reach towards the ceiling. And drop the knee down. Let's change. Other leg forward, right leg here. Start with just that hip flexor hold. And then if you can, press that knee open or keep the foot flat and just put the hands on the ground to deepen the stretch. And then lift that back knee if you can, put your foot flat or keep the knee down and open up, reaching towards the ceiling, towards your leg. All right, everyone, from here, step back into down dog. Have one heel down, one heel up, pressing through those shoulders, and change heels. Stretch out those calves. And both heels down. Walk your hands back to your feet. Grab you behind your legs and pull away from your thighs. So you're rounding your back, you're tucking your chin. Your chest should not be on your thighs. You should feel this all the way down your middle back between your shoulder blades. And relax the arms down. Peel yourself all the way up. A few shoulder rolls back. Whew. And let's get a little shoulder stretch here from all those punches. And change arms. And a lot of obliques today, whether you realize it or not. So let's bend to the side, pulsing, really stretching all the way down that side. And change. And since we did a lot of forward motions with the arms today, let's open up the chest, pulling the arms back. Once you have that stretch going, hinge from your hips, unlock your knees, keep your arms going, pulling your knuckles towards the ceiling. And peel yourself back up. Keep your hands interlaced, and let's finish with the neck circles. Loosen up before you start your day. Opposite direction. And we are done, everybody. Nice job today. Have an awesome day.